What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another trailer reaction review. Today we're going to be jumping into the first look at God of War Ragnarok's St Starvenheim? Starvenheim level exclusive gameplay. This is a Game Informer trailer. They're doing this 1 minute and 37 seconds. The last one was... I it was whack. And um, hopefully we won't get that same vibe here. Hopefully it's just a deep dive and not too much of the fluff. Especially with the it being just one minute and thirty seconds. But let's let's jump in and check, man. Let's let's see, let's see, let's see. I got the mic, uh desktop. Let's open that and let's go. Jay from Game Informer here. Hey Jay. In God of War twenty eighteen, we traversed Midgard and its massive Lake of the Nine. Yes, Elfheim, we did. Home to light and dark elves. Yep. Elheim, the underworld, alongside Jotunheim, the land of giants. Yep. And even Niflheim and Muspelheim, which pushed players' skills to the Yo, look at combat trials. Why Sadly, is he so Odin stiff? Access to the remaining realms, but director Eric Williams told me, "Oh my we'll God, to explore all nine in God of War Ragnarok." A trace was frozen before, right there. You we'll guys seen that? Again. But without further ado, welcome. Oh to no! The they bring him back the ravens. Dwarven ingenuity. I'm talking no. technical marvels like mine pits, artificial water channels, and sprawling cities, all setting the stage sprawling for cities? complex environmental puzzles. To navigate the new realm, we'll need okay. to rely on Kratos' tool set, his weapons, and yes, his son, Atreus. Yep. In Svartalheim, Kratos can freeze geysers by way of the Leviathan Axe, oh, dismantle the with his blades okay. of chaos, and command the boy Ooh. to interact with out-of-reach devices. Okay. I spoke with two level designers about Svartalheim's creation, and both talked about evolving cool, the gameplay cool, in cool, larger spaces. Cool, I like this, I like the this. The world and its mechanics reflect the narrative. In the reveal trailer, we watched Kratos and company use sled wolves to get from one far-off point yeah. to the next. Okay. And unless frozen areas like Svartalheim will row down streams oh, okay. into open waters and, and there's people Perhaps walking around in houses. Okay. Freedom, all of this suggests a journey vaster wow. than what came before. Wow. For more okay. On the story, head to our hub at gameinformer.com slash G O W Ragnarok or swing by our YouTube channel for okay. more gameplay content. Okay. So let's deep dive into the trailer, give it a score, and give my thoughts and opinions of exactly what's going on. Um, right off the gate, this is a two out of five. After, you know, seeing that last trailer that we got i give that a three out of five this one is definitely a two out of five it's a step down and we don't get a lot of exciting points here is this more fluff granted they did a cool glimpse at this dope looking city but then didn't give us anything to like to actually dig into they just gave us a glimpse of of a location and to be honest, I'm I'm wondering why why am I not giving it a one at this point? But I guess we did see some cool things with the puzzles, so I give them that. And the idea of there's gonna be cities in God of War is lit, so I give that to them as well. But at the end of the day, like we are seeing some dope shots of the scenery. But come on, bro, like we get like less than 40 seconds of actual gameplay here, actual gameplay, because like halfway through the trailer, they reset the trailer. Like when when he ends up back on a at one minute and six seconds and then the the trailer goes on for another 37 seconds of just repeat repeat gameplay and they did the same thing at the last trailer so i could have expected it but come on bro you can't you can't do this back to back and not expect to get roasted i really don't like this rollout what they doing with Game Informer to get, you know, likes and clicks and, you know, kind of like to hype it up. We don't need this for God of War. Not for Ragnarok. Sonic, I understood when they did that with IGN, but we don't need this for God of War Ragnarok. Let's talk about the trailer itself because I think it's very interesting. In the beginning of the trailer, we see um, Atreus talking, having dialogue with Rados. Either something actually happened during the story or I, I feel like his idle animations is like not programmed in or just not working right here. He's frozen solid looking at Kratos this whole time this whole time like not even looking around not touching anything not not reacting to the water or the waves or the movement of the boat or anything and it's just so weird it looks like he's a doll like not even like a human right there and then Kratos gives him the cue that yo we're pulling up into the city to look ahead and then he like you know he says Atreus look ahead and then we get that reaction from Atreus who's usually always wondering and looking around and having questions and dialogue with Kratos. We didn't get none of that there. So I wonder if something did happen in the in, in the story to trigger that, but we didn't get none of that there. And then we move over to this mine scene where we get a couple of things that is pretty cool. We get the confirm that uh, Ravens are back, that we're going to have to hit these guys, which love them and hate them. They're back. 
I thought they were pretty okay in uh, the first game. I didn't truly love them, but I, I, uh, for the trophy, you're going to probably have to do it anyway. We get a shot of the mines. Now, they did explain how the mines are going to kind of work, where the, how you're going to traverse through them, and they kind of showed us a little bit of that as well. I wonder if there's going to be like a minecart scene, like almost like Donkey Kong, like if we're going to be riding in a minecart. But it does look pretty cool. Again, we don't get no story, like elements of why we're here, why we're exploring this place. So it, it does kind of lead the question like, okay, we're at this place, but why type, type vibe? Hopefully, we do get that answered. And then... This is an interesting shot. They're showing off the how the um, the puzzles in this area are going to work and how your blades and your axe is going to be able to interact with, you know, with the water and stuff like that. My thing is, is that we see the symbol here. We also see the same symbol here or one that's like it. I wonder what that means. Is that going to be indicators all over where we have objects that we can interact with? And I think that is going to be the case. Have like a visual aid on puzzle elements which kind of makes sense. It's just the this one doesn't look like the same thing as this. There's no water geyser there. So I wonder what was over there. The same thing with over here where you see it on the floor and then you see Kratos interact with this, but this is the, um, I forget, the Blaze of Chaos. So maybe there was a Blaze of Chaos thing over there to, to, to trigger that, but again we don't really get a shot of it it's like behind this rock maybe we don't get no shot of it what would that do the water would just shoot up maybe not because there's again there's nothing there there's a cute little bird up here too again cool little nice little visual aid of the blaze of chaos over it too to kind of show you what you have to do so that's cool that's cool and then you see this huge gate go down i wonder if you could freeze this even as is this uh, a part of the oh no you look the, the doors are right there so you could just close it okay cool 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 I wonder if you got to close that with the Blaze of Chaos. And again, that that's it. Atreus is like, look, now, nah, wow, this is this is a city. Surprised to actually see a city. We see a house, 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 house. It looks like an entrance to something right there. You got under this, you got like a little area here, and then another house. And then we got a bridge. So, yeah, we got a full-grown city inside of God of War, Ragnarok, I, it, it, including NPCs. I wonder how they're going to break this down. Is this going to be some... Skyrim Witcher situation where you could come into people's houses, have conversations with them, and you know, go on side quests and stuff like that. Are, are we getting that, or are we getting something similar to Pokemon where you can go into these houses but they give you dialogue and that's it? There's no side quest, really. There's no you know, they may give you an item, but that's it. Are, are we getting that, or are or, or even if are, are these places even accessible? Because again, we're rowing through here on a boat, but we're not walking through this land, you know what I'm saying? So, I wonder how open is it gonna be? Are we gonna be able to walk here? It looks like maybe because it looks like maybe you could just bring the, the, the boat, dock the boat here. He didn't do that. But maybe, maybe that is the case. We do see everybody running away. That's one thing I noticed. This guy ran away. This guy's like, oh shit. And he is out. This guy is like pointing and like, oh my fucking God, the God of War, I am gone. And then look, these guys, he's like, oh, whoa, oh, oh, I am late for dinner. Like he's gone. <laughs> so I do wonder what's going to be the situation. Do everybody, is everybody just afraid of Kratos at this point? You know what I'm saying? They don't want nothing to do with him you know, knowing what's, you know, to come, you know, with, uh, Thor and stuff like that. I do, I do wonder if, you know, that's the scenario and that's the case that's going on. So that, that part again is interesting. The whole trailer itself being how short it is and what little we see. I, I, again, it's a two out of five for me. Let me know what you would give it in the comment section below. Like always guys, I answer all comments. So let's have that conversation down there. If you are new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day, either talking trailers or playing video games, posting clips, let's plays. I do it all here on the channel. So again, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving these videos and to recommend this to other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.